welcome viewers to soft demi a software engineering academy today i am going to discuss with you about planning engineers questions and answers part number 8 question number 70 what is a constraint in primavera answer constraints in primavera is to fix the early or late start or finish dates of an activity as per following options a project must finish by b mandatory start or mandatory finish c start or finish on or after d start or finish on or before e start or finish on f expected finish question number 71 what is the clause to be referred in fedec when there is entitled for extension of time answer clause 20.1 if the contractor considers himself to be entitled to any extension of the time for completion and or any additional payment under any clause of these conditions or otherwise in connection with the contract the contractor shall give notice to the engineer describing the event or circumstance give rise to the claim the notice shall be given as soon as practicable and not later than 28 days after the contractor became aware or should have become aware of the event or circumstance question number 70 what is the reasonable range of float you assume while checking the look ahead work activities answer the float range is varied from a project to another however in my opinion 10% of project duration is the minimum reasonable float for any project question number 73 what is the critical path how you identify it and if any activity have negative slack how can you adjust the duration answer critical path is usually the activities on the largest path or longest path with zero float any delay on these activity will lead to delay in project duration usually critical activities are shown in red color or say zero float in columns for reducing duration you can adjust it by reducing the duration or changing the relationship between activities however planning engineer should pay attention to maximum resources resources constraints while crashing the critical path negative slack is usually result from constraints in the activities planning engineer should follow up the negative float path and find the wrong relationship or constraints and fix it question number 74 what is the difference between planning and scheduling engineer answer planning engineer can work along with the project team to develop a complete time schedule including cost of resources planning engineer can lead the team and influence his or her point of view scheduling engineer can only follow senior planning engineer or project manager instruction to create logic between project activities but she he cannot develop the time schedule alone question number 75 what is the difference between retain logic and override logic answer retain logic is invariably that will produce the longest critical path but if activities have been progressed out of sequence there could be some illogical dependencies 
remaining in particular resulting from dependencies with duration progress override invariably produces a, a shorter critical path and again there could be some illogical lack of dependencies resulting from activities have been progressed out of sequence you can watch below progress red lines and baseline red line and updated progress in retain logic you can find the retain logic and over at this, this difference Question number 76 What is the difference between recovery schedule and revised schedule Answer recovery schedule keeps the same finish date with same corrective actions to recover the delay such as add more resources and break down some activities and so on Revised schedule we have a new finish date because of claims or adding a new scope of work amendment question number 77 you are working on a project and somewhere in the middle of the project the progress variance was minus five percent and still you are achieving the contractual completion date how is it possible answer contractor is working on critical path and delays are on non-critical activities Question number 78 How can you define the critical path in Primavera? Answer Simply filter the activities with zero float. Question number 79 As a planning engineer, walk me through a project. Answer This is a project, is project name and has a budget of a project budget the project started in project start and planned to be finished in project plan finish date according to the last updated date on updated date this project is ahead or behind the schedule where the planned person is equal to x and actual person is equal to y therefore the forecast completion date is z Question number 80. How can you differentiate total float and free float? Answer. Total float represents the number of days that can be delayed without affecting the completion of the project, whereas free float determines the number of days that can be delayed without affecting the successor activities. So this is our today's content of the part 8 so the video will be continued to be continued to part 9 keep watching softy demi don't forget to subscribe press the bell icon and keep sharing softy demi like comment and share we will meet in a next video